Hey everyone, thanks for taking the time to watch this video today. We're going to be talking about how to use KeePass on your mobile device. Before we get into that, I'd like to point out a couple of things you might want to consider watching first. Uh, first is a video that talks about getting uh, familiarizing yourself with KeePass on the desktop. Uh, and it will walk through functionality and how things work. The mobile app and the desktop are very similar, and so having an understanding of one does help with the understanding of another. Not required, uh, but something if you uh, see yourself ever using KeePass on a desktop might be worth checking out. The other thing is learning about how to use Dropbox to store files, uh, and, and that includes KeePass databases. So uh, you'll see once we get into the application, uh, if you store your KeePass files in Dropbox, uh, it will allow you to sync that file across all your mobile devices and use one set of usernames and passwords, uh, one database across all of those devices. So if you're already familiar with Dropbox, feel free to skip that. If you're not sure what Dropbox is or how it works, it'd be worth uh, you checking out that, uh, that video. So let's uh, look at the benefits of using KeePass on a mobile device. Uh, so, so having KeePass on your mobile device will allow you to track passwords for all your accounts uh, and use that on whatever mobile device you have. You'll be able to easily log into apps and websites when you're using your phones, your tablets, uh, whatever it uh, might be that you're using. Uh, and as I mentioned with, uh, with Dropbox, you're able to use the same KeePass database uh, as you would on a desktop and a laptop. Uh, so you don't have to try and manage separate files. You don't have to go and add new accounts or usernames or passwords to different places. Uh, you'll be able to use one file, one database across all of your devices. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go in here and install KeePass on our mobile phones. Now I am doing this today on an iPhone, uh, but it should be very similar to do on Android as well. So uh, you, you'll wanna follow the general steps and then once you get into the application, it looks the same uh, on, on either device. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the App Store and we're gonna do a search. For key pass and remember it's K-E-E -E pass not K-E-Y okay so from that search what I'm looking for is key pass touch uh, you'll see I've already downloaded it so it shows me the little icon to read download uh, and I'm going to hit that button give it a second for to download and then I'm gonna hit open uh, so now what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask me to uh, add a new key pass file uh, so you can go ahead and hit the plus button and create a new database okay then it's going to ask you to give it a name uh, we're just going to call this uh, uh, demo base then you're going to put in a password and then confirm that password And then by tapping on that button, it is going to allow me to open my new database. So after I've opened the application, have it installed on my phone, uh, what I'm gonna do is I wanna send that database file that I just created as new, I wanna send that to my Dropbox account. So I'm gonna tap this button down here in the middle uh, at, at the bottom there uh, to go ahead and prompt me to send this over you'll see an option there save to Dropbox I want to hit that and then I'm gonna select the folder and then once I have that selected I'm gonna go ahead and hit save now it's going to store this file in uh, in, in Dropbox so one other thing if you've already got Dropbox set up and you have KeePass that you used on the desktop to create a file already. Uh, what you can do is you can hit this little uh, sync button down at the bottom, the two arrows that make a box. By hitting that, 
Uh, you can tell it that you want to sync. Uh, we're going to select Dropbox. It's going to open my Dropbox account, and then I'm going to navigate to my demo file. Uh, I'm going to use the demo file that I had created uh, in the desktop version, which is the demo.kdbx. Uh, you just tap it once, and it doesn't look like it did anything, but it actually did. So go ahead and hit Done, uh, and it will sync the file uh, to your account. Okay, so uh, I've got KeyPass on my phone synced with my Dropbox database. Uh, so these are my uh, databases that I have there. I'm going to go ahead and open this demo. And this is the same database that I had used on the desktop. Uh, so if you've watched that video, you'll see uh, the same entries that uh, that I had there. So anything I do on my phone when I have it synced to Dropbox will automatically sync uh, to that Dropbox file. And then I can go on my desktop and I see all those changes right away. So it allows you to uh, move between devices very easily by having uh, by using that sync feature and setting up your database that way. First we'll take a look at adding a new group. So I'm going to go ahead and in the bottom right hand corner where you see that plus sign, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap that. It's going to ask me if I want to create a new group or a new entry. So I'm going to select group. I'm going to give it a name. And I can change the icon there if I want to once I'm done. I hit done and you'll see there is my new group. It's also as you just saw, you can create a new entry using that same button uh, or same icon. Tap it on that plus, I can select entry and then I can create a new entry here. So uh, again, very similar to the desktop and what that looks like. You're going to go ahead and give it a title. You can type in your username here whatever the case may be for your account. Uh, you can type in a password if you already have a password for this account. You'll also see the little wrench on the right hand side and that is the password generator uh, tool that's in here. So if I tap on that, I can set the length, I can define character sets, so use uppercase, lowercase digits, characters, etc. Uh, and then it's going to generate me a random password down below. If I hit the little circle loop-de-loop -loop over here, I can continue to generate new random passwords uh, if I care to do that. So uh, once I have that password, I would hit done. It's going to put it in there for me. I can add an expiration date. I can add a URL. Uh, I do have the ability to add custom fields if I wanted to do that. And down below, I could add additional comments if I had those. Uh, tap it on the little folder there. I can go ahead and change the icon to whatever I want. And once that's finished, I go ahead and hit done. And now I have my entry. Now you see that entry that I just created appears here on the main page. If I wanted an entry in a group, I would simply go into that group. And then when I was in the group, hit the plus button and add the new entry there. And then that would add the, uh, the new entry into that group that I was in. So I can also edit entries in the mobile app. Uh, and I would do that by selecting the entry that I want to edit. So I'm going to select my new entry demo by tapping on it. And then once I'm in at this screen, you'll see in the upper right hand corner, there's an edit, uh, edit link there. So if I tap on that, it'll open the entry and I can come in here and make any updates to uh, the title, the username. Uh, I can change the password. Again, I can hit that wrench icon, come in and uh, say so I want to change it. I'm going to make it uh, 15 characters. And so now I can uh, reset it to, to 15 and I can again use this uh, circle uh, arrow here on the right to generate uh, passwords until one comes up that I like uh, if I cared to do so. Now when I hit done, it's going to automatically save that as a new password uh, for this entry. So last thing I'll show you is how to actually use the entries. What I would want to do is navigate to the entry that I wanted to use. So we'll use again this new entry demo. 
Now to copy either the username or the password, all I do is tap it and you'll see I get the message that it's copied. Uh, so I'm going to tap uh, on the username. I'm going to go over to my mock website here in OneNote and then I'm going to paste my username and then I would go back, copy the password and then go back to my website again and paste and then I'm done. I've copied over my username and password into whatever mobile app or website I was trying to log into. It's as easy as that to use uh, once, once you've got it set up. Thanks everybody for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you put these things into practice, you'll be able to save some time and energy in managing your usernames and passwords uh, while keeping it all safe and uh, being able to use different login information so that your accounts are as safe as they can be. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions, concerns, go ahead and leave a comment here down below or reach out to us at contact us at beelinetechgroup.com. Thanks again for your time and we'll see you on the next video.